So we're here at Indian Cave State Park. We're gonna start getting unloaded and uh, we're meeting up with some friends here. Yes, he's just <laughs> so much bigger than me. <laughs> so we're gonna get unloaded and we're gonna hang out with our friends. We've got the deer for me tent. I've got my uh, new uh, fire maple uh, tropics two person tent. So we'll take a look at that too. Tent village. We got these guys. We got all this. Dorian's over here with Rex. Here's Dorian set up for the night. He's got the gear for me tent. He's got the cot. All that room. These guys have got some beef stew going on over here on the fire and. Over here, we're, uh, we're rocking out this new fire maple tent. I'm giving it a shot. This is the fire maple tropics, two person. Got my cot and sleeping bag and stuff in there. In your room, see what we think about it as time goes on. We're gonna try a new recipe, and Dorian wants to do the cutting and, and, cooking. and the cooking, so we're gonna let him go at it. Are you ready? Oh boy! Oh boy! So this recipe that Dorian's working on is called a gumbo made right. Um, it has pound of ground beef, salt, pepper to your liking, uh, minced onion, dash of garlic powder, uh, mustard, Worcestershire sauce, a can of Campbell's chicken gumbo soup, and then hamburger bun. So yeah, cook it all down. So that's what we're doing. We've got the gumbo soup, we've got the mustard, we've got the Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire, 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 whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so we're gonna start adding these ingredients. I'll put the um, I'll put the ingredients right here. Go ahead and pause it if you like. There you go. It smells good. Cook it down until all that stuff is gone. Dorian wants to do a first reaction on the Tapatio Doritos. I have them. They're good? Mm -hmm. Let's see if they're spicy. Mmm. You like the salsitas? We need to go get our first reaction from the boys. Thank you. No. Here you go, Billy. I made those peppers, so they're not too bad. Thank you. Mm, those are good. Those actually are really good. That's oh. Good. Good? Oh. Mmm. Mm. Might have to get some of those. Yeah, I like the flavor. The flavor mm -hmm. is... Oh, vinegar, yeah. Very nice. I better have another one. Very nice. And you're already taller than me, so this is gonna look. Oh, well, I guess we kind of got. Yeah, we can get That's you in there. That's because I'm further back than you. Yeah, he, he's he's so much bigger than me. Okay, this is a new recipe for us. This is a chicken gumbo made right. So we're gonna give you our first bite rule. But we gotta get. Gotta get the stuff on. You gotta smash the bread. We do? What What does that do? Makes it better. Oh, okay, we're smashing our bread. Okay. 
Look at that stuff. Oh, Dory. Look how thick it got, man. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that looks good. Okay. That one's mine. I'll help you, bud. You got it? Yeah. Yep, he's got it. All right, I smashed my bread down. I still don't know what that... It make, this makes it better. So we've got... Okay, here we go. Let's do our... We got to get our beans on here, too. Got to have the beans. Got to have the beans. Right here. Watch your leg. I don't want to drip on your leg. Okay. Okay, here we go. We are going to give these made rights. First bite roll. We're going to give these made rights a shot here for the first bite roll. Are you ready? Man, they're staying together really well. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah, wait, wait. You're not in the camera. You better get over here. Here Three, we go. Two, one, two. It's hot. That makes a good sandwich though, doesn't it? I'm crying. It's hot. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Not because it's beautiful, but because it burns all the way down. Why did you eat it? It was so hot. <laughs> it's good. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is good. Mm. Must try again. We're going to have to have the fam try it. Maybe more pepper? Or do you like it the way it is? I think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Yep, we're going to keep eating. <laughs> Wait, you guys, it's good? Yep, it's really good. That is really good. Yeah. Um, um, well tonight. What do you think? What do you think, man? That is excellent. It is excellent. Like it's uh, super sloppy dough. It is. It's it's sloppy. It's good though. Oh, it's I like the that is really good. Oh, thanks, thanks, guys. Thanks. thanks. Thank you. No, thank Dorian. Thanks, Dorian. 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 <laughs> so good. Good job. I'm trying out this click chair that's right here. Um, if you remember from my last video or my video right before that, I talked about how my chair was a pain in the butt to put together um, in the dark. I wanted something that was fast. So I got this click chair. So I'll take it down here. I like how fast this chair goes up. So when you turn it over, you hit this button right here, and the whole chair collapses in on itself, and then you can wrap it up. It has this cool little handle here that can go around it and wrap it up. But this chair is super fast to put together, and this is what I like. I told you guys in that last video, or the time before, I just didn't wasn't happy with like finding all the pieces of my chair in the dark and stuff like that. So this is like, it just opens up and you grab the, the base here till it clicks, grab the other base till it clicks. I must have pulled most of them already out. And then you, so for this one here, oh no, it's this one. This one here is another top. So you just pull it, there it is. And then you come over to this other one and pull it. That's it. Super, super fast. And really comfortable. But I'm going to do dishes and we're going to hang out around the campfire. Um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour of our campsite. Uh, these guys have been coming here and doing a meetup for, I think they said eight years. So that's pretty awesome. And I feel fortunate to be invited to their campouts with them. But I'll show you. 
There they are hanging out at the camp. There's our deer for me. And then there's a gazelle. That's Ben's gazelle and his gazebo. And then over here is the community trash center. This is Randy's set up here. Randy's got the gazelle. This is the Overland edition, right? This color? Yes. Great looking setup. And then Randy also has the gazelle gazebo. So what's your opinion of the gazebo? I like your opinions because you're, you're picky when it comes to things that matter. I really like the gazebo. It's super easy to set up. I wish the material was a little thicker mm -hmm. and and was a little more stretchy to you know when stuff's falling on it, it bounces it off. Hence where you're at, yeah. yeah. I got a hole in it. Oh, from this tree? Kind of, yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. But self-induced, self-induced. It was me. It wasn't. You know what? I'd buy another one. They're really good. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got over here? I, I know the stove. I I really like that stove. The fire maple. Yeah. This is not the Saturn. This is the Saturn X. So if you look at the bottom of this, which he's cleaning, so I'm not going to mess with this stuff. It actually has um, fittings so you can put the legs on it. And it has um, a magnetic yeah, base so warm. that the canister can set directly underneath it. It's okay. You don't have to pull it out right now. But yeah. Oh, and now we're going to go on over here to to barnyard outdoors himself the man the one the only i like to call him mr stanley outdoors <laughs> no, it's, i won't put that in there whatever dude you've got like probably the most views on any stanley outdoor gear there is yeah and it's on the useful box it doesn't matter all your stanley stuff, stuff is good yeah if you like if you like stanley stuff Go check out Chris's channel at Barnyard Outdoors, which if you follow me, you're probably already following him. So what do you got going on here? It's the One Tigress TC Solo Homestead 2.0. So it's that poly cotton material. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's a great tent. I've been really happy with it. I dig your chair. Yeah, that's another One Tigress product. I can't remember the name of that one, but the high back is really nice on it. Mm -hmm. It's very comfortable. And you have another one tigress inside. Actually, you have this is a whole one tigress almost set up. A lot of one tigress stuff on this trip, but yeah, I've got the smaller one inside, and you've got your cot and the smaller chair inside. You probably can't see it, but you don't go into a man's business when he's yeah. like, you know, camping. But he probably has stuff showing you the inside of this tent. Do you not? Yeah, not not yet, but that's coming after this trip. Okay, perfect, There's perfect. So tour. I'm not going to spoil that. If you want a tour of this. Um, once the video does come back, I'll go back and edit it and put your link in the description okay, of this video, perfect. but, um, go subscribe to his channel and you'll find it when it pops up. And he also has the gazebo, which he has to have, like, they all have a gazebo and then there's Dorian and I, we it's don't have perfect. a gazebo. It's the camp kitchen. This is like an ultimate kitchen. This is like Boy Scouts could live out of this. Yeah, pretty much. You've got automa automatic water. You've got your refrigerator, which... That's a whole new ball game. It is a whole new ball game. I like it. Video coming on this setup too. And the refrigerator. If you haven't seen that video, it's it's awesome. It's a great fridge. And I'm rocking out the Fire Maple Tropics tent. This is something that I saw popped up on the interwebs. And I really wanted to try it. So low profile. I've got the um the rain fly on it right now i have it set up in this mode you have to have hiking poles or trekking poles to set them up so it kind of tilts this off like they show in their pictures i didn't bring any with me but on the inside here i've got pretty simple setup here i've got just my my ultralight cot pillow sleeping pad and my sleeping bag there But if this wasn't on, which I'll do a whole breakdown video of this, I'm just testing it out and using it. Um, when I do a whole video on this, you guys are, you're gonna like it. It's a cool tent. It's a really cool tent. And here are our dinner dishes. Dorian did a wonderful job. I've got our DIY sink right here. We're gonna clean up and uh, relax at the campfire with the guys for the rest of the night. 
So, yep. Loving that quick chair so far. This is good. Moto camping. I'll take it moto camping next. This is good, moto camping. Hmm. Maybe I have an idea. Good morning. This is where we slept. Very spacious tent inside. Chris is going to show me. Let's see if I got you there. Okay, I got you. The out in nano espresso maker. I saw this on his channel. I just have to see it in, in reality. Okay. It really is as fast as it looks. So simple to use. Now just continue around the campsite. We'll hear a beep and extract and you can just press up. So we'll be back while I go grab my cup. <laughs> Since we're using your cup. Are you just gonna pull it out? It's on the last the last little dot. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that's cool. You know what's gonna have to happen now. First drink rule. First drink rule. <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells great. Dang. It's like having a barista with you. Dang. It's crazy. Barista barnyard. <laughs> Love it. Absolutely love this thing. Very impressed. It's a perfect temp. It's amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. So Dorian is going to be preparing breakfast. He did he did dinner for us last night and it was so freaking good, man. It was good. Can, you it was gotta, a good new recipe. It was a good new recipe. So he did a really good job last night, and then today he's going to work on the um, breakfast skillet the that we have. Skillet. So uh, we've got a lot of veggies, and he's going to start chopping them up and go get the potatoes out of the truck. And uh, we got the tea going. Oh yeah, he's got the tea going. And then check this out: Billy gave us this to try, which is cup of noodles breakfast. Maple syrup, pancake, sausage, and egg, ramen noodles, and sauce. <laughs> when do we want to try this? Your call. <coughs> this bacon, I'm going to drop the bacon in the Dutch oven. Bacon's in the Dutch oven. Yeah, bacon's in the Dutch oven. We'll use the bacon to help season the Dutch oven up. You have more veggies to cut up too. You have spinach. Mushroom, red bell pepper. Look at it. Yeah, it's good.
It's weird to cut spinach because it likes to move. Anything leafy is weird. We dropped some mushrooms, but we're not too worried about that. It's a small cutting board. So I will take all the fruit I just cut up over to the campfire where we got the Dutch oven. We also got some bacon over there waiting. So Randy made his breakfast, so we're gonna go try it. Oh, let me get you a... This dude. Cut. He's good. <laughs> that was good, dude. What'd you do? Nothing. Oh, wow. You got it? Yeah, I got yeah. it. You got it's all you want. Nibble, all of it, whichever. It's up to you. This looks good. What kind of sausages did you use? Are it's those a... cheddar? No. No, it's a uh, smoked jalapeno cheese from Super Saver. Ooh. Never had them before. From Super Saver? Yes. Sir. Want me to put some more in your bowl here? No, I'm good. I got a second. Good. Please, please take it if you want. Can you get another it. scoop, Chris? I'm good, thank you. What about you, Mr. Ben? Oh, cool. Eat it. Mm. Here, Dorian. Give it a shot. If you don't like it? Throw it away. I'm okay. Oh, whatever. First bite rule. First bite rule, yeah. First time my food's had first bite rule. Mm hmm. Thank you. It's good. I didn't know Gordon Ramsay was out here, but. Whoa. You said it. Whoa. Like, he's been my he's heart. Freaking my heart is mm. warm right now. Thank you, Dee. That's some good sausage. Thank you. I'm going to check on the bacon. We had Randy cook some stuff, too. And so I went over and tried his. Got to put these gloves on. that guy up and stick them right there. On top? Mm-hmm. So those coals are centered on there. Good job. Now, take coals and line the lid with it. Should be 11, I think. So we put more coals on top than on the bottom because in the Dutch oven, you cook from top to bottom. So, gotta cook the top up before the bottom. Okay, so now that we are up and about, and Dorian's been cooking me breakfast, which is so awesome, I'm testing out this tent that I just got from Fire Maple, just kind of seeing how much I enjoy it and how much I like it. Um, I do, I like it. Uh, it has a very unique kind of a bottom strap kind of setup system a little bit, but um, when I do my review on the video, I'll show you what I did wrong with it. 
it's nothing really major. It just makes it a little more um, cumbersome if you do it the way I did. But one thing I've learned to really kind of embrace and like with this setup is when you're coming into the tent, they have this ground cloth that you can buy, this ground tarp. And um, I like how it has this offset right here because when you're going to get into your tent, first thing you do is kneel down. Love this. And if you want to like cook in your vestibule, you know, you can, you can do this type of situation, but I really, really like this. Um, there is another setup where I can take this and like kind of kick them up a little bit. I'll show you a picture of what they do. Yeah, see how they do that. Um, I can do that. I just don't have any trekking poles. I could go cut some wood and do that, but I'm just using this before I kind of give you guys my uh, two cents in it. Well, I was talking to my 23 year old on the phone this morning and I, he asked what I was up to and I told him I was checking out this new tent that I got. And he's like, what does that say? Pineapple? I said, no, it says fire maple. But this tent now is going to be called my pineapple tent because my kid named it and it was, it was so funny. But no, the fire maple tent is awesome. It's a tropics two person tent and I will stand by what I say with this. I believe that a two person tent is always one person and your gear. Um, plenty of room on the inside. I have my little ultra lightweight cot set in there. I had good room to set up on the side. I could sit up. I woke up and I could stretch. I wasn't hitting the tent sides. That's a big plus for me. Um, I had plenty of room to roll to either side. The vestibules are great. Showed you guys this. I'm a big fan of this situation right here. This, this beautiful ground cloth that you buy separate, but you just, it's well made. Everything is well made all the way down to aluminum fittings and connection points. It's, you could pull out here, pull out here, you know, however you want to do this. This is such a, a neat little setup. And that's all you're going to get to see this tent until I do a full review on it. Um, I've been doing using that, and I told you guys about my click chair. Um, I'm a fan of this chair. Uh, I, I've seen reviews where people talk about how they feel like they sit too far back in it. I'm going to tell you right now, apparently I'm a lounge sitter because when I sit in this, I feel good, like, if I sit up straight, I feel weird, but if I sit back, it's nice, it's comfortable. I wonder how well one of the high, one of the high backs would feel, but I'll find out eventually. I like this. Okay, let's check out the veggies. This stuff looks good. Dorian's gonna have to probably give it a nice little mix here. Go ahead and lift her up, bud. I bet it's gonna smell good. Careful, don't drop any of those ashes in our food. Oh, dude. Oh, that looks so good. Go ahead and give it a mix. Mix it up a little bit. Or do you not wanna mix it? You wanna mix it? Do you wanna put your eggs on top of it now? Let's put the eggs on top. Oh, Dorian. That it's looks ready. perfect, man. Look how soft those potatoes are. All right, okay. Let's go get the eggs and drop them in. Yep. All right. Nice. Right on top there. Grab your, grab your tong or your your pot your lid lifter. Gently, you don't want that in your food. Oh, that looks perfect. You ready? To give it a try. Yep. Let me see the back. Da -da -da -da.
Let's go give it a shot. Mmm. Mix it. Take a scoop like that. That looks really good. I'm full. Plus, Dorian, he's gonna eat all that. Yeah, I've had two bulk up. That's so good. Ready. I am not proud. It's gonna be hot. You gotta get one of everything. How'd you do? It's uh, it's good. It's good. Oh, <laughs> that's mm, hot. But, but you're not crying this time, so it's not overly hot like last so night. So it's not overly hot like last time, yeah. Last night his food was so hot, he was crying. <laughs> but all the way down. Not much of a difference. Mmm. Oh, wow. Good job, Dorian. All right, so we got our mess here. We got to clean up from breakfast. And I'm going to see... Yep. So now I can clean my cast with this stove set up. Now, this isn't a really large cast iron. This is just an, an eight. So don't think that, oh my gosh, this thing is so big. It fits a cast iron. No, this is just an eight. And uh, I just want to get this water hot and get this cast cleaned up. I think I have a little too much water in there. Beautiful, loving it. Well, we're gonna get out of here and say goodbye. Dorian is off, off hug, hugging, off hugging, off hugging. <laughs> you feel better? I never felt bad. Oh, I gotta take a picture with Chris. I need, yeah, I need the the Chris photo. Thank you. Thanks for uh, camping, man. Uh, oh, get oh, over oh, here, Randy. Randy, oh. Randy get in here. <laughs> nice. Uh, Good camping with you guys, yes, as man. always. Uh, Did we get everything? Yeah. Let's uh, take a walk. Let's do a walk real quick. Nice. Make sure you got everything. Come I know on. I got everything. Bye, Mr. Coffee. See you, Shane. Say bye, Doriano. That's his bye. Bye, Dean.